Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today we're going to play some Scoyatel, and we have uh, Kawhi. He has a YouTube channel, fellow content creator, and he's going to go over the list with us that we're going to play. So I'll turn it over to him. So this deck we're playing today is a uh, version of Spellatel. Now me and Devil Driven did some changes beforehand. We swapped out the a Glaze for a Royal Decree, and we added one First Light for one thunder um now generally this deck is very strong at the moment because gold weather gives us a trem tremendous amount of value um not only that but our own game plan resolves around having a long round and basically the general game plan from the opponent is trying to win the first round so we also benefit from that part so in general this deck is very strong by having far shares on the board which gets buffed from having protectors in your hand and playing spells. Now that's where the Elven Mercs really shine because we can play an Elven Merc, get it into first light, and another minion such as Farseer, giving us tremendous amounts of tempo while also having a lot of control options such as Artifact Compression, Spice, Nature's Gift, Hailstorm. Basically this deck is pretty strong at the moment. So that's why we're playing it today. So okay. without further ado, I would say you should just hop into ranked. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> now, does it have any weak matchups? Uh, Northern Realms? Any... Yes, yes, it has one. Mill. And <laughs> I, I, I was just about to say that that's mill. But yeah, primarily people don't play mill simply because the, the games last like 30 minutes, so it's... <laughs> Not really that great to play, I would say. No, <laughs> if you want to rank up at least, or climb the ladder. But like at higher ranks, yeah, for sure. Because if you win seven games in a row, you're like top top 100 all of a sudden. So yeah, for sure. Right. Now, if we don't win the coin flip, do we dry pass on this? Do we just, no do we just pass so that we stay up on our cards? Hand, Depending on our hand and what our opponent is, opponent is playing. <clears throat> Alright, All right, so... We've got a pretty good hand, I would say. We have three of our spells that we want to toss on the mulligan, since we want to get those out with our elven mercenaries. We also have the artifact compression, which is pretty huge, uh, simply because long ships and such. So we get our second protector. Now we should, yeah, drop the thunder and then drop our first light. We got all the the hate cards in our hand: drought, Ragnarug, <laughs> hailstone. So what do we do here? Do we uh, do we do we play a farseer or do we just or do we go straight into the merc? But then we end up drawing, or we might end up thundering our own guy. Exactly. So, that's a difficult uh, decision since we want two long rounds so we can try pass and have those. Um, also, him having crones and such, I would I would go for the dry pass here. That's a lot of blanks that he has. Uh, he has three frost in his deck. He has maybe crones, which um, king of, but he is showing us that he's playing a wild hunt deck, so there probably won't be any crones, but those frost can still end up in his hand, which is pretty beneficial for us. And if he dry passes, we can simply play out uh, one of our farseers, which is not bad. So now we obviously kick the thunder. No question. Okay, first light, which could be decent. Now he shows us an arc spore. Um, there are two things that we can do. We can play a farseer because he cannot kill it in one card besides uh, neutral. Uh, or we can just thunder it right now. Which one do you prefer? Uh, these are really now, good against weather, huh? They just live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's primarily why I was thinking about it. Right, killing it right now, or try to set up our own game plan. We could probably go one round with it. You want to put the farseer on the board? Any specific row? Oh, because all of our minions are agile, we don't care about which row. Only if we have more than one, then we have to think about Hailstorm, obviously. Right. You should be. 
Yeah, these are sure. these can get out of hand pretty quick. So he's gonna play Frost next. Now do we? Now maybe we should kill it. Mm. We can do. We can also just play out our weather, but then his minion gets restored. It doesn't have that much value. We could nature's gift into their elsir stunner into a farce here, giving us lots of tempo. Or we can just kill it. I would suggest killing it because we buff up our minions and such. So which do we kill? Do we kill the ice giant or do we kill the arch boar? I'm not sure. Probably the... Or the arch boar. Probably the spore. That thing's uh... not... Or do you want to kill the giant? Let's kill the arch boar. Alright. Okay. It even throws out all. It even hits you one time when it dies, huh? Yeah, it deals four damage if on uh, that rattle. That's why I was kind of uh, not so sure about it, but so uh, I would 100% play the so a gold weather for sure. But I'm thinking which one. So Drought kills his carryover minions being Seleno Harpy, but is he really playing Seleno Harpies in a wild hunt? I don't think so. Mm -mm. It really doesn't matter. Ragnarok or Drought, either one is fine, but just playing outdoor weather. We want to get value out of that, obviously, because the longer the round goes, the more beneficial for us. And we can always overcome with whatever cards. We can even... No. Yeah, we can play out our first light and even use it on clear to sides to use that. So now we we obviously play out another drought. <laughs> so get us in front. Wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! No, yeah. Um, uh, it gains us three, three plus the farsher buff equals five. It's unfortunately not enough to overcome. So we have to play another card after that, which is gonna be. We could also just artifact compression his giants, and then we go in front of him. Okay. Eight value. That's the tempo of the farce here. Now what? Do we clear? Oh, no, no, we, we never clear for the simple fact that it has too, too little tempo. It's like plus two points. So we get eight points. Now our protector doesn't even overcome. So <laughs> I should, I would play the weather out the drought. That we force him, we force him to pass that way or we force him to fight in the weather, which he obviously don't want to. Now we can just overcome with something else. What is that card? Oh, uh, it's the Wild Hunt Rider. Crease by one. <laughs> okay. Um, Do we thunder? Okay. Thunder the Drowner? Thinking about uh, playing our Nature's Gift into Elser's Double Cross into our Protector. Into our into another farce here. Okay, so sure. nature's gift into Bomb. ADC. Yes. Giving us a farce here. This moment, I've seen it already. Two are getting buffed, and then we go in front. We, we would die actually. He locks it. So we just play another farce here. We don't mind. Not afraid. Only sad thing is that our other farce here dies, but a big of an issue. We decide to pass. Now we can decide what cards we want to play. Um, I'm heavily thinking Elf and Merc, because if we play first light, then we can perhaps play out our uh, protector, which is now for uh, even more in the next round. So yeah. At whatever. Oh, oh, Quen. Oh, oh. Play the Quen. Yes, yes. Yeah, perfect. Now we are protected from his hailstorm and such. That's awesome. 
Oh, and those both get buffed. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> That's why Gwen is Gwen is like such a also an insane tempo card. Like if you have Idlin into Gwen, you can just give those Gwens to like both Farseer and the Protector. It's it's amazing. And there, there it is. But it's one card too late. We could use. Uh, do I toss anything here? Um. No, huh? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Because it... Idlin is gonna be used to get but... out our Thunder. Our thunder, right? Right. Then we can um, use the first light, first light, and we can get a protector or an elfin merc and chain that into another first light into the last protector. So there are two options here. We can play the first light now to get out a protector, or we can just play the protector out up front. I don't really mind either one. We got a Play merc. Our... We we still have a merc in hand though. There's one more first light, so we will 100% get oh. the protect route anyway. Oh, that's right. We so, put, yeah, we did put two in, so... Alright. Like, that's why the, the second first light is also super insane. So now we just... Off point play. We'll probably open frost us. We're taking for five more turns, so... Mm. It's pretty annoying that we have to play first. So our Alpha Merc is dead right now. Alpha Merc into Thunder. Um, how many more Frost does he have? Uh, he played two, so he has one more. Uh, this is going to be really close, actually. Mm. Should we Hard. compression that so that it he can't use Iridin on it? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. But then we cannot clear, right? So what's the value? Right. <laughs> hmm. So just play a protector? Yeah, because we don't have enough time anymore. Okay, Super know, hard. Okay. Because he will drown us, or he will Jotun us. Or Frightener even. Caretaker? What's he gonna steal? Farseer? <laughs> Farseer has no value. His most is like Elfin Mercenary into potion or something. Farseer is not that, not, not that great because not getting hey. buffed besides his long ships. Yeah, and he hasn't really even... Yeah, his long ships... He hasn't even played any should like ships. really take our time because what are his three last cards? Probably long ships and his hero power. Probably also another gold or another silver. He might have thrones uh, too. But that... I'm really scared about uh, what's it called, the uh, Jotun or yeah, probably Death and Hailstorm. Uh, just... Can we do anything? Uh... Just compression this, or because we could thunder the boats, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I I like the compression here. There will be no negotiation. Oh, but this is going to be a really close game, actually. 20, which is like, I would say. Okay, so can you check if that is a wild hunt card? Actually, I'm not sure if no, the ice giant is a wild hunt. No, they're those ogre guys. He showed us that he has one in the in his deck in the first. So, clean mm. kill the giant, but. I'm not sure if it's correct because we will get more value with if he has boats, but he's not playing boats, I think. And if he has boats, we win anyway with our protector and hailstorm. Right. So get our Adlin and double thunder the ice giant since it is pretty pretty big. Chance that we get a lot of value out of that card is not that high, while our protector is primarily our win condition. Right. Unless he has Scorch, like if he has Scorch, well then GG then, <laughs> you win, but okay. <laughs> okay, Iris, so... About Iris, unfortunately, but we should just play out our Protector, obviously. It's gonna die, but yeah. The minions that it's gonna buff, we are gonna Hailstorm.
Yeah, I don't really see how he overcomes it. He's just going to play a a ship, but it's like, that's not going to be a 23-point play, I don't think. Is it? Oh, it is going to be pretty oh, close, the, huh? So I just... Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, for sure, just Hillstorm. Now, if he has another boat, he loses, but if he has another Wild Hunt Navigator, I think he wins, actually. Oh, no, because our Protectors gets buffed, for sure. And there's the Hillstorm, that's why we play Quen. Like, GG! Yeah, yeah that worked out real nice. It, uh... He had kind uh, of he had kind of a weird list there, but... Um, sure. He was, it was like kind of half Wild Hunt, half Frost Synergy. Yeah. It's not a bad deck, it's certainly viable to climb. Since the Frost gives you like tons of value, so... Also, Ice Giants, 12-point card is not bad. Or yeah. 10 points, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But not optimal to go, like, high ladder. Yeah, the the Iris is is a cheeky play, too. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. If he had more stuff on the board, he would he would have definitely crushed us. But... Yeah. All right. 100%. So, so, unlike the last time, we don't have our spells. Besides Lacerate and Quen. So we drop, think, uh, drop Lacerate? Yeah, we drop both of them, obviously. Because we have to... We want to try to. Oh, which one? Keep Quen, right? And? Do we have Itlin in hand? Yes, we have Itlin, right? Yeah, we have Itlin. And protector in hand. Our screen is lagging. If we have both a protector and farce here, we should uh, kick the Quen and keep the thunder. The reason that you wouldn't is to mulligan the thunder because you have another one and you don't want two in hand. But I think if we have a protector and a farce here, we should. Great. Okay. So what do we do here? We farce here off the bat. Trout him, or I mean cold weather. We can play in a far here out both or five. We can play out the cold weather first to make him pass, and then we overcome with a far here, or we do a far here and get plus two. No, not really, because it won't get buffed if it's no in your deck anymore. So that's awesome. So we should just play the far here. I just see victory. Because we are lacking our protector in hand, so we won't like get it. the value of he is really over committing right now, which is very good for us. We want him to use up the first round. The storm is worth fifteen points. Weather tick for one turn. Uh we could wait honestly. Mm-hmm. Do we want to? The... Do you want a last wish? About last wish. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Oh. <laughs> we keep the lacerate, huh? We play it. We play it. We play it for sure because we deplete his armor, and we'll take more than that way. It's also thundered, but that would not kill anything besides Kira, and we. Mm. Yeah, hopefully you don't have renew. I guess that wouldn't matter though. Like you said, he's just using a lot to to get through this round. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is so awkward. We have no protectors in hand. I would have loved to play the protector from the last wish. Go for the second one. Um, oh, we could play uh, Itlin, right? Itlin is enough to overcome. 14, 16. For a straight lacerate. Minus 1, 17. Or we could lacerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's even better. Smart play. Yeah. There will be that's no like 3, 6, 9. 
Yeah, and his his uh, Redanian won't uh, tick now either because it's the highest. He could steal the one armor off it, but it's, it's, that's <laughs> that's kind of death beneficial. Yeah, that's a. You stand before royal majesty. So we compression this, right? Stennis. Um. I hate this fucking card. I don't usually swear on my videos, but this card, it drives me nuts. Because they play it like three or... I had one guy play it. It's a good it. card. No, it's, no, it's, no. Oh, it's when great. When you play it, it's great. <laughs> when it's played against you when for you like it, 32, you're like, what the hell is this? Uh, Only issue that I experience from that, though, is that we won't get the tempo we need. Because his Redanian is gonna... Play the other mm. Farseer. Uh, Play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should. You should. Yeah, we didn't get like any buffs off of it, anything. No really? Because it doesn't buff anymore when it's in your deck. That's why they hot fixed it. It was it was needed because then you could just have those in the deck and they would Elser Thunder, no Elser's double cross, and then just play your Etna into another one. So it was insane. But right now we're at a disadvantage. Mm. Do we go for the double cross? Or that don't really do nothing for us, anyways, huh? Ten points of value, twelve actually, because the farser also gets buffed. I like it. All right, what are we Maybe doing? We can over... What are we doing? Uh, get our Elsa's double cross farser. You suggested. It's good. Farser is gonna get buffed. He we force out his red of it, which. It is how I punish those who irritate me. So now we're looking like Ithleen's gonna be the. Um, oh, she can't pull clear skies no more, huh? Pull us thunder right now. In 16 points of value, he's sticking to. Maybe. We're sticking only two, so that's 18. So now we have to make seven stats. How do we make seven stats? Uh, first light. But then our Quen is dead. Yeah, we have to. We we, we have to play the Alpha Mercenary into first light. There, if you would have got two Elser Thunders, that would be pretty bad, but we got lucky. Very lucky. Seer is working, which gives us tons of value. Um, Hailstone the back. Perhaps. Um, can we overcome then? It's three, uh, five, eight, eleven, fourteen. It's fourteen points. Our first is getting buffed by two, sixteen, seventeen. So how do we make up the other nine stats? I would actually it lean right. So yeah, I like it. Or we can it lean first. We we won't. No no no. no. It's bad value. Okay, you're doing it. It's fine either way. Now we shoot the Redanian, right? Then, so then we kill Red of it. Red of it is six strength. I'm not fine actually because uh, we are still Gucci with obviously I think what do we, we do? go above him uh he'll start the back row because we are uh then positive in points
stall or? Now we pass. pass. Yeah, now we pass. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Card that overcomes this. It's called John Atalis. It's, uh, it's or Dijkstra, or he will pass. But, uh, this is so sad. Oh, uh, but we go up one card. What card do we play then? Uh, we don't even have a good play next yeah, turn. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're uh, kind of stuck here. Right, because... Else we are going minus one, and if he goes plus one, then he will. We can, yeah, we should. That's oh, super bad. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. The weather takes for one more turn. Oh, great, great. He could, couldn't <laughs> overcome. Oh, and the the minion died in the back row. Or we, we, I'm so stupid. Sorry. You should just insta pass. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa, we're going for it. I'm like, okay, we're going for it. Um, whoa. <laughs> Oh, did I draw? I think I dropped the call. But I think we got you on. Oh, no, on. I'm still here. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Or I'm seeing the cards that you have. Um, I would mulligan the Quen sign. Oh, I did it the other way around. Now, do I go for the all out thing or just we just pass? Huh? So we go one card up. Skype is frozen, so I don't see the board. What cards do we have, actually? Uh, Quen and Artifact Compression and Ragnarug. Ragnarug. That, that. Uh, I would just play, uh... Do we just pass? So that we are, we're up a card, or no? We just bleed him. I think, because then we go into a long round where Ragnarug has a lot of value for us. So just Ragnarug? Oh no, pass, 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 pass. Because then we get one more card, like you said, and then obviously we Ragnarok the next turn, and then we have plus one card and one more weather tip. Depending on what kinds of board state he has. Alright, so I picked up a Merc. I want to drop Quensign, right? All right. Yes. Yes. Sure. Be glad to. So he's resin Stennis right now. You stand before royal majesty. And he pulled death mold. As you command, your majesty. Daily now. And he reigned the front row. So I just Ragnarug off the bat, huh? Obviously, there's no better play. Yes. Oh, should I should I uh, artifact compression Stennis? He has ten armor on him. Artifact compression his heavy cavalry, which is uh, Stennis is three yeah. and heavy cavalry is eight base strength. So I would uh, wait on it, huh? Preserve it. Yes, for sure. Yeah, and he used death mold, so he's kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's so that's such a bad feeling when you play a mage and then your your opponent plays a gold weather. It's like super bad. So I'm just gonna uh, yeah, uh, merc into Quensine and buff up the protectors. Have strength, my love. I like that as well because you could play Hailstorm, which we want to be protected of. Yeah, they're both 16s right now, and uh, the other heavy cavalry is going to get like compression. He's playing that. Dijkstra into the rain right now, which is pretty, pretty good for him. But pulls a Hornets for value <laughs> <laughs> or eight. Oh man, he just got a Redanian Elite into a Scout. I don't know, he might have us here. We were first uh, forced to play the Hailstorm round one. Perhaps perhaps playing out the Hailstorm round one was a mistake. But we were forced to play that way because we didn't have protectors in our hand. So, I, well, it's debatable. So, we should just play out protectors, right? Uh, I, I, I artifact the... He passed on his last turn. What the heck just happened? 
I don't know what it is. He has Hailstorm. He has Hailstorm in hand because he, he, he cannot target anything, right? On your board. Yeah, we got him though. Because <laughs> we got two 17 okay, strength uh, protectors <laughs> in hand. That's exactly what, what your deck is trying to do. Play out four Seers, letting those grow, and then your last two cards are going to be 17 strength protectors. <laughs> Alright. Let me. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, even even though he had two of the answers for the protectors, he, it still wasn't enough. Your one piece, fight for it. Hensel. This is a really really scary matchup in my opinion. Since I hate if Hensel. he's <laughs> smart, if he's smart, he will keep the Hensel until the last round, and then his last round is going to be insane. Drop there the. Will play drop the first yeah. light. Drop the first light since we pull those. Now, do we have a Farseer in our hands? Nope. So we should probably kick one Protector um, in our hands right away since we want to play those later on. Now, we have the insane combo. We have the insane combo of it lean into Quen into giving it to both our minions. So this hand is looking pretty solid. I would, Just... besides probably kicking one Protector, we can play the ball because we can draw into a spell. But... Hey, that's great. Oh, we won the coin flip. That's that's super good for us right now. So we're going to go with Farseer first? To or... give the Quen sign to the Farseer. Oh, we want to Ithlany first in the Quen, right? First? Let's me think about two things. First of all, he played Tronatalis. That means he could play Renew. I don't think he will play Renew, but it could be. Now, he also showed us that he has one Tactics card in his deck, meaning that there are two more Tactics cards that could be in his hand. First off, the Horn, which is very likely, and then the Marching Orders. So, we are seeing 12 points, but we can kill those, right? We can kill both of those. We we'll do that with Itlene. Itlene into Double Thunder, killing those two off is, I would say, very good. Cannot Hansel. We want to prevent if he wants to do it. You go up by two points, so he cannot pass. Uh, thing about Ragnarok there, but... What do you want? Tyrion. Compression it. <laughs> All right. We can. Uh, what's it called? Um, since we have. Oh no, we have still summoning circle there. I was thinking about nature's gift into thunder, but no. So. I actually like the uh, Elsers double cross into a farce here. Moment. I've seen it already. So we are you starting to get buffs out of our spells, which we are gonna play obviously. Now he decides to play his uh -oh. hand sold out, which in my opinion is a very bad play, uh -oh. since now, um, now he will have no no power in the last round, because his deck is not an armor based deck. He plays like Rams, he plays Reaver Scouts, such thing. Or there's another thing we could do, and that is play the Ragnarok. Six, eight points. But the only thing is, now if he plays a, a infantryman, he will get so much tempo that we are forced to melee. So passing is a real consideration, while Ragnarok right now is also a real consideration. Both of those are fine. I think we pass. Let him. Let him sit up, think about what he did. I like passing as well. Since everything about hands, but but if he plays it out right now, then his last round is obviously since unlike Radofit, which relies very on these guys, uh, hands actually relies on it a ton. Get buffed by those. Those become like 19 points, so 
those three siege supports are pretty much his entire game. He just dropped that it's round one. All right, he just passed. So what do I do here? Um, Merc. Merc into just just hit clear skies because I don't want to I don't want to pull any of our wind conditions, right? Did you get two first light? Uh, there's two in the deck still, yeah. Can also use it to quen out our oh, yeah. uh, protectors, whatever. Yeah, hopefully we get the quen. We did, sweet. You're back again. Yes, Quen. We should Quen. I like Quen. Uh, Farseers, yes. Oh no, uh, I mean Protectors, yes. Alright. Because we have two of those in a deck still. Right. So, the only scary thing is, is that he has a mage. But if he has the mage, then... We got double weather anyways. We're good. Uh, <laughs> so good! Keep Lacerate. Yeah. Or, or sure. drop it. I think drop it. Alright. I'd rather have that in the deck because we have like nature's gift. Play the Farseer. Turn one. Turn one Farseer. This moment, I've seen it already. This deck is so good, man. If you draw well, you can never lose. Like, you can never lose. I should compress it. <laughs> yes, yes. Instantly, instantly do that. Oh, poor, it was, it's, uh, it went from premium, it premium. It was pre oh, that's awesome, yeah, it was premium, oh no, he, his, his was premium, oh, that's awesome, I didn't know about that, oh, it's so cool, such a cool, uh, oh, jeez, here we go, that's why the best round one is so good, Ragnarug, right, play out the weather, yes, the bleeding is armor, <clears throat> Oh, I'd hit the wrong oh. one. I make it for that fight. Um. Oh, he's obviously not clearing it. I would like to play out our first light and use it for rally. In our hand. Because we can get a farce here, which gives us even more buffs. And if you get a protector, it's not bad. If it's an alpha merc, it's not that bad. Have strength, my love. Lacerate. Um, or do I farseer? Or, uh, first light, huh? First light. I like the first light because we can use the lacerate with our other alpha merc, which is gonna get more value, I think. So that is great. Oh no, no scorch, no scorch. Please don't have scorches. Oh no, the farseer is getting buffed by four, by two. Thank God. Oh, I was so worried. <laughs> I was like, both of those are gonna be 12. That's like super bad. <laughs> Cause that's the only thing that keeps this deck from becoming tier zero. Like, Scorch is a card that completely ruins this deck because the protectors are gonna be the strongest if you don't have first years. Wow. Should, the... should we try for the, the summoning circle with Last Wish? Use it with our nature gifts, right? Or if we even want to, if we even want to, like, mm. we could play it on this row. It'll start. That's true. That's true. We should do that. We should do that. So nature's gift summoning circle. Then we have less wish into another protector or another force here. We take the thunder, right? Or do we take the protector? Turn. Just to be safe, if we break out our uh, last wish, yes, we should definitely pick the protector. Since we have still uh, one elf and merc, and we're not really decided about playing the elf thunder or last rate, because there was this weird card that I was playing against, and I lost to it, and I was really tilted. It's called Odrin. It's the five strength. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. And, moves. and uh, there was like a one out of two to win the game, but he like buffed his entire row by 20. And I was like super salty oh, after that. Is. Here comes five. Deistra. Holy cow. Holy cow. Like this is why you pass against Hansel. And now, now we slam this Merc. No question, just slam that card down. 
what are we uh we're lacerating huh yes that entire row lacerate oh my goodness he's gonna be so Listen salty to after this how much value is that i i don't even know <laughs> the row is 31 <laughs> it becomes eight so that's uh 13 no even more because our farseer is getting buffed three protectors are getting buffed yeah it's insane he has no armor <laughs> either no no this is why weather is so uh, so strong uh it's he has really a tough time handling this weather he shows us that he uh killed the quen this uh probably means that he wants to but we don't mind that so this is a dead card though that's what kind of sucks playing that right now switch to drought do we want to do that Sw yeah i really like it because then we turn out our deck and then we play last wish and we guarantee get out our farce here which we want Two more buffs on our original protector on the board and our farce here gets buffed by one we don't mind this at all Battles are won or lost by the commanders, what? not by sorceresses. It's like this. What, what, what does that card even do? I, it, I'm, I, you I kill it. It's like... Uh, it's like... Um, <coughs> it's going to set Thaler to 1 if it dies. Uh, if, 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 if he plays... He's going to hit it with a... And our play movers. He's going to hit no, it with a ram. No, he's going to move one of... Yeah. But can he move our 20 strength first here? Because that's our only way of generating more points. But we're up 27, we don't care. Just just play out a protector, we don't mind. Or no, wait, 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 a far, uh, the last wish to get out of our here first. Yes, that's 100% correct. Or we could have artifact compression it, but we don't mind. Think. Not afraid. Doesn't matter. You should be. Points. Wait, wasn't the front more or less points? Because we played around Hailstorm and oh, such. Oh, he's playing oh, no, he's doing I it see for... what he's doing. <coughs> so it only because he misplayed, right? If he played the uh, art on the taller, eight, eight, no matter. Play out the protector. We're still cool. <laughs> he just he think he just realized he messed up. Yeah, he just he... Yeah, that he, he could have swung for like fifty points by the way. If he killed if no if he used the taller, the taller would have been eight. The farshi was twenty four, sixteen plus a swing from it, nineteen no it was more like twenty four ish. Yeah. This deck can never lose unless you draw bet. That's that's pretty much it. Unless you draw bet you misplay or you lose the coin flip because if you lose the coin flip you ha you are forced to dry pass sometimes which uh is very beneficial for us because they spend their research resources to overcome the first round or super deck yeah Insane. yeah we we just racked off six in a row there um but yeah here's the list if you guys want to play it you know let me know in the comments what you think. Once again, uh, Kawhi, thank you for stopping through. Uh, glad to have you. Thank you glad for having me. Yeah, glad to have a fellow Gwent content creator on here with me. Um, uh, what I'll do is I'll turn it over to you. Go ahead and uh, let people know where they can find you and everything else. So I got a YouTube channel of my own. It's called Kawhi Kokoro. Uh, I post deck guides and uh, other videos like guides also on them. Uh, I have a Twitter as well, that is Kawaii Kokoro. And I sometimes stream on Twitch. I try to stream high quality letter only. So I stream like once a month. So you can also follow me there, twitch.com slash, no, twitch.tv slash Kawaii Kokoro. And I will see you guys there probably. Okay. So without further ado, let's ha jump it over to Devil. All right, yeah, once again, thanks for having me. And are you on uh, Gwent DB as well? Do you post decks on Gwent DB? Uh, sometimes decks that reach high MMR, I will post. Yeah. I haven't posted my my deck of this version, so 
I would probably do that as well, but not really that much going on there. I, I don't do it. Either. Every once in a while, I'll put one on there, but I uh, it's a lot of typing, and I'd rather just show somebody what the list can do instead of just typing exactly. out 700 paragraphs of you know Completely. what this thing yeah, can for do. Sure. But, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Once again, thank you, as always, for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.